You know, ladies and gentlemen, sometimes they just can't help themselves. We know that. We know they can't help themselves. They got to get their virtue signaling out. It's like an itch. You got to scratch it. And once you do, you just get that great relief. Well, now we have another example of exactly that when it comes to gaming. We have an article from The Gamer Journalist that says Sea of Thieves NPC is revealed to be trans and fans are delighted. <laughs> Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I, I, I clearly, I mean, I just don't know how else to say what I'm going to say, but clearly in your pirate game, you want uh, you want trans representation. This is this is clearly making all fans delighted. I am sure there is a million of different fans on Sea of Thieves that are so happy that this shaven side head, typical non-binary trans person is now existing in this space. And again, it's just a simple virtue signal. This is what this is. This is nothing more then a virtue signal. It's not meant to add anything relevant to the story. It's not meant to add anything that's actually going to give the character any depth. All they did was trans the character because of reasons. So let's get into this article, guys, from The Gamer. But of course, before we do, if you are new here, just consider hitting that subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it and like the video to push us out into that YouTube algorithm. It says, Meet Marley. The trans dude in Sea of Thieves, who's already stealing players' hearts. Now, of course, this character, I believe, was initially a female and is now a male character, which is a lot easier to do in a video game with coding than it is to do it in real life because, obviously, you can't do it in real life. It's all bullshit. It says, Sea of Thieves' latest update has made some changes to an NPC found in Galleon's Grave Outpost, with the game now having its first openly transgender character. The Sea of Thieves team has officially confirmed this, telling players to look out for Marley the next time they're in the area. Now, I don't know how well Sea of Thieves is doing. I know a lot of people stream it over on Twitch, uh, but I, I don't know if it's like a super successful game or if it's deemed as successful. I really don't know, so I'm not going to pretend like I do. But I got to imagine that usually when moves like this are made, one of two things is true. Either the game is starting to lose in relevance, which for whatever reason that might be, they're probably pandering for that reason. Or it maybe it's not a relevance thing, but maybe it's just the fact that Pride Month is coming up very soon and they're trying to get ahead of the curve. It could be most likely that, in my opinion. It says Marley is a representative of the Merchant Alliance and the latest update means that he's finally presenting in a way that feels true to himself. The response from fans is overwhelmingly positive and there's already fan art of Marley's new look. Now, this, I guess, was originally Marley, okay, on the left side. And this is now the new Mar... <laughs> this is now the new Marley. So... And in the tweet over here, it says, louder for the people in the back. Rare says trans rights. Yay. Like, I, I just don't know why people want to pretend as if this is the most exciting thing in the game update. Like, whenever, whenever I play a game and I'm looking for patch notes and whatnot to see what's excited, what new content was added, the last thing I care about is the sexuality of the NPC in the game. Uh, maybe I'm just crazy. I don't know. Maybe I'm not the normal one, but I, I highly doubt that. You know, there's a lot of people out there that are probably looking at this as what this clearly is, which is a massive, massive virtue signal that is only meant to try to garner some sort of social media clout for this company. And uh, I believe truly that they're trying to get ahead of uh, Pride Month. But again, this is this is just what we have to deal with. So this is the actual official tweet from Sea of Thieves. And it says Vis visitors to Galleon's grave outpost may spot that the Merchant Alliance representative Marley has undergone a reinvention of sorts, finally presenting in a way that feels true to himself. So they announced that the character is 100% trans now. It is no longer a female character. Then it says players have already tracked him down in Galleon's grave outpost to grab a picture with him. With his matching green hair and beard, as well as his unique tattoos, fans are loving him, even drawing fan art not long after the update dropped. Now, again, ladies and gentlemen, I just find it absolutely hilarious that they're trying to make this into a real thing. We know that most trans men do not look like this, okay? Most trans men do not look actually passing to be a male. And ultimately, even if you look passing, a couple of physical tests will be able to easily showcase that you are not actually a biological male. But still, the, the, they are considering that one person who drew a picture is now, oh, everybody's drawing fan art. No, no, no. It's one person. You got one person drawing a picture of this character who have uh, who has an anime profile picture that's female. So guess what? It is most likely a trans person. I don't even have to look at the profile to probably know that I'm correct, that it's a trans person. If I'm wrong, then I'm sorry. But I highly doubt that because this proves to be true 9.5 times out of 10. <laughs>
<laughs> so again, this person's obsessed with the sexuality of characters. That's apparently what's most important to them. And this is what Sea of Thieves is trying to virtue signal for. It says, we don't have many more details on Marley since he's fairly a minor NPC, but he captured the hearts of many players all the same. Rare is being praised for confirming that a Sea of Thieves character is trans, as well as sharing the transition so prominently on socials, even to the point of sharing a fan cam, which of course, someone already made. Now, hold on, <laughs> wait a second. So you trans an extremely minor character in the game. You didn't even bother transing a prominent character in the game. That tells me this is more of a virtue signal than anything else. If this is a minor character and supposedly it's stealing the captured hearts of many players all the same, how many players exactly? Because all I see you is posting the same two people and the same two people are talking about this. Like, I don't understand how all these players that supposedly are all happy about this character being trans. I guarantee you most probably won't even notice. If this is a minor NPC character, nobody's going to go back to that area and say, hmm, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's not going to be a thing unless they're told it's a thing, which is why they have to virtue signal on Twitter about it, because nobody will probably even realize it happened until they were told. Then if you look at this video here, let's check this out. But we'll sail together. Um, wow. I, I just, the, the cringe is just through the roof. Please admire respectfully is what it says on his notepad. I'm not surprised. It's a neat idea for an update in a live service, as well as updates adding more content. They can also show changes to characters over time. And this might be the first time we've seen one used to show a character's transition. And hopefully it's the last time. This is likely going to be a big year for Sea of Thieves for the first time since its launch. Back in 2018, it will be made available to play on a console other than Xbox. It's set to launch on PlayStation 5 on April 30th, quickly becoming the most pre-ordered game on PSN when sales went live. With this in mind, the player base is likely to see a huge increase, which isn't bad at all for the game that's already six years old. So again, guys, I, I don't know if it's a relevance thing because I never played Sea of Thieves, never cared for it. Um, it was Xbox exclusive. That's probably the reason why. But ultimately, even if it comes out on PS5 and it's one of the most pre-ordered games there is, uh, maybe it will be successful. Maybe it won't. Maybe they're getting ahead of the PS5 gamers by transing this character. Who really knows why they did it? But ultimately, I don't care why they did it. We all know the true reason for their doing it, and that's just a virtue signal. The true reason is so they could post stuff like this, you know what I mean, on their Twitter account. That's the real reason. They want you to see the virtue signal. They want to get all those likes and retweets, baby. That's the most important thing to them. It's like currency at this point. It's amazing how likes and retweets have become currency in our modern-day social climate where even companies are trying to get it because it's so valuable to them. That's the most hilarious thing about all this. So ultimately, if you play Sea of Thieves, by all means, keep having fun. I don't really care. I just thought this was a hilarious virtue signal for an extremely minor character that decided to go all the way through and transition uh, right in front of everybody's eyes, I suppose. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you did enjoy it. And if you did, consider leaving me a subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. Don't forget to like the uh, video, comment, let me know what you thought, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Hypnotic out.